following from the above, it is clear that the appellants, having not put forward their perceived rightful score to rebut the result put forward by the INEC, the law presumes the first respondent's version as correct. It would not matter whether the appellant can prove having won more states or if the first respondent admits that much. The figures before us shows that the second respondent won the highest number of votes and was accordingly returned elected. From whence, therefore, would we manufacture evidence to support the appellant's claim that they scored the, the majority of lawful votes cast at the election or that there was non-compliance with the Electoral Act which affected the credibility of the election? Nowhere, definitely not from, from the evidence on the record. And that is why this issue is resolved against the appellants.